Would you like to tell us some of the differences you've noticed playing in the Premier League, first for Portsmouth and now for Manchester City? Yeah, of course, there is a big difference. Playing in Switzerland and in, in France, here, everyone wants to play here in England. So, big, big difference. Is it the pace? Is it the, the, the way you play? It's the pace, everything. And the fans as well, they are more passionate. Yeah. Lovely, thank you. <coughs> Any questions this time? <laughs> I'm sure everyone will agree we love the goal celebration then, Jai. Um, how many more times can we see this season? And also, if you do not get more than ten, can we have permission to shake your hand? <laughs> <laughs> Fair game. Fair game. Are you going to tell us anything about the targets that you set, the number of goals you'd like to score this season? Probably well, yes, when I was in Portsmouth, it was 15, but uh, I'm here, I was already on 18, so now I'll make it maybe 20. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have that in writing? <laughs> so Ben Jarney, did you prefer scoring a hat trick for Pompey or scoring the one derby goal for us? Did you prefer a hat trick for Portsmouth or scoring the one derby goal for us? I have uh, two questions. The first one is to Ben Jarney, and that's uh, if you do shave your hair, I'm prepared to give you a very good offer for it. <laughs> <laughs> and the second one is to Mr. Wardle. Um, can you ever imagine you the amazing book surge he's brought you over the last 12 months when he took over the club and position he wanted that point? Um, no, I think that um, what you've got to say on that is that um, the club itself was what we did over that period of time. We got the club into a, a very good position. I think you've got to remember throughout the time I was there, we never came out of the Premiership, uh, even though it was a struggle. Um, but the infrastructure around it was put in place very well. And Oliver McIntosh, our chief executive, deserves a lot of praise and for that, although he's a very quiet, shy guy and he doesn't put his head above the parapet, as you say, but he deserves a lot for dealing with the commercial side of it, the ticketing side of it, you know, coming, moving into this stadium. Um, Alistair orchestrated all that, even though it was under my chairmanship, if you like, but he, he was the main guy. Now, we've got the club into a really good position as a football club. What it needed then, which is what Dr. Taxon's done, was investment. Because we were struggling when Stuart Pierce was manager. No disrespect to Stuart, you know, he's a great guy. He, he will show in time he's a good manager, but he didn't have the resources to do what he wanted to do. That was financial resources. So we had to say, look, if we want to keep the club moving forward, and for the benefit of you people out here, but the supporters in particular, we had to do something. And we did go out with the, with the football club to see who was out there who would like to invest into it. We, as you know, the story goes on, there was three investors, but Dr. Taxon, by a long chalk, was the best uh, investor, definitely in my opinion, in the board's opinion, and, and he's proved that now since he's come in. So I've no regrets about it, I'm delighted about it. Um, I think that we did all the spade work developing and building the club into the club it is today. Now the investment's coming in and hopefully we will see the results on the pitch. So overall, delighted. Thank you.